Hello guys and girls, I'm Miko Sanchez, and welcome to episode 381 of Boshi Monsters by V. Since it, and since it's a very, very long day, we're, we only have one video for you guys and girls today, but that's okay, we'll have more for you tomorrow, so please be on the lookout. In the meantime, let's get right into today's episode, but first, we have a new subscriber to the channel, so yes, welcome to the channel, Bill! Oh my gosh, only one name... <sighs> Only one word, Bill. You are the new subscriber to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. We're on our way to 900 subscribers, so thank you for subscribing to, to the channel, Bill. You totally, totally rock. Unfortunately, at the time of this recording, Bill only has three subscribers. He joined YouTube in 2011. That's nearly, uh, that's 10 years ago. 10 years ago, a full decade. And Bill only had two videos up. But don't worry, you can change that for the good. So thank you for subscribing, Bill. Uh, you want to go check out the channel? Then the link will be in the description below. So please go subscribe to him. The link will be down below in the video description. So please go subscribe to his channel. If it, uh, uh, besides, uh, uh, besides, if I try putting it on the top, on the top right corner of the screen, right up, uh, the, uh, right up there, uh, right there, the, on the upper right corner, you can see that there are so many bills, but I th uh, that I couldn't find one. So I'm gonna leave Bill's YouTube channel page in the description below. So please go subscribe to that. Anyway, thank you for subscribing, Bill. You are the best. We really love you. Now back to the video. Today we got another character. We got another main your character to take a look at here on the show another big time shot keeper and one of the most iconic characters in the motion monsters franchise we're gonna be taking a look at today working at the grocery store on main street so be prepared for it it's gonna be a whole lot of fun are you ready then let's get started here we go so yes welcome to episode 381 today it's about snozzle wobbleson oh my gosh one of my all-time favorite characters in the motion monsters franchise and we're about to change that today Besides, he also he already, he also appeared in a diary. Uh, he he appeared. And, uh, besides, Snozzle also appeared in Boshi Sleep of My Fitness through a video uh, through uh, uh, through an entry in Buster's Daily Diary season two. So, so you haven't listened to it yet. It's on the Boshi Sleep of My Fitness app listed there right now. But today, it's all about Snozzle Wobbles. So please go check. It, uh, so please get ready. It's about to be wild. And you haven't seen the previous episode. Go check it out. Episode three hundred eighty was about his, was about his John Wood counterpart, Snozzle Wobblesing. So please check that out. I'll, I'll put a link up there on the top right corner of the screen. You can check out the video and watch it, however, everyone and whenever you are. But right now, everybody, let's go to a start. Are you ready for it for today? Then you better be, because here we go. You right? Then let's get started. So, who is Snozzle Wobbison? Snozzle Wobbison is the owner of the grocery store on Main Street. He appeared in Candy Catastrophe, where uh, where he showed the, the Super Boshis the back food storage of his store and the Candy King Caves. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Look at the stats. My name is Snozzle Wobbison, occupation shopkeeper of the grocery store. Debut of the Diddy Growl and Candy Catastrophe. Relationships include Auntie Wobbison, who is the aunt. Ooh. Now that's pretty good. Uh, he was already, uh, she was already discussed on episode ten. So please check that out. Sonny Wobbleson, who is a relative, uh, who who is the distant relative, not already discussed in the previous episode, episode three, episode three hundred eighty. So once again, again, go check it out. You haven't seen yet. Uh, Wobbleson, who uh, who is a relative, that I'll talk about in future episodes. So keep on keep on speaking for that. Blue Jeepers, who is the colleague that I already talked about on episode on episode thirty six. And finally, we are, and then we have Bo Puka, who is the colleague again on episode. Uh, on episode three hundred, on episode two hundred and sixty-one. So please check that out. You haven't seen it yet. And finally, Boggle, who's a cousin, noted as the only relative he still he still sees. So yeah, now you know. Um, actually, uh, I was wrong. Uh, Mo Puka, he was actually on episode two hundred sixty-two. Episode two hundred sixty-one, however, belongs to Mrs. Snoots. So sorry for the error, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, uh, but Mo Puka was on episode two hundred sixty-two. Blue Cheapers was on episode thirty-six. Sazani Wobble Singh was on episode was on episode. Uh, you know, 380, and Auntie Wobbleson was on episode 10. Check out all these episodes you haven't seen yet. As for Wobbleson, I'll talk about it in future episodes, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Alright, now let's get to the, to the, to the, to the micropiece. Let's talk about the character like Bia. Main. Snozzle Wobbleson started out his career as a stock monster at the grocery store, but everything he picked up slipped through his wobbly grip and made a splatastic mess everywhere. Luckily, Snozzle was soon given the more simple job of, the, of cashier, which he loves, except when he has to handle... Jelly, that is, Wobbleson Creations. Despite his busy day job, Snozzle still finds him to invent boss-revered new treats to sell. He confidently concocted his own drink, Essence of Gloop. And in honor of Growly Grub Day, with later creations, curry and saffron uh, and saffron flavored glub cakes. Yum! What a mess! Snozzle doesn't like to think back to his messy time working in the stockroom. He is much happier floating around the shop. Uh, serving all the hairy customers. Oh, man, that's a lot of fun. Take a file, hang out, grocery store, catchphrase, Snozzle stocks up the lot. <laughs> Love it. Likes wobbling contests 
and dodgeball off the spot, stacking on slap core. Oh my gosh. And for, for the notes, wobbly frame and jelly legs. So that's pretty much it. Moving on to the Moshipedia. So Dazzle Robinson started out as a grocery stock mod cruise monster, but everything kept slipping through his wobbly frame. He was soon promoted to cashier after dropping 16 cartons of eggs and making a real mess of things. Sazo loves his job and creating new and tasty treats. Yay! We on to the fat file. As you can see on the right side of your screen, there, you know, the, there's Dazzle's fat file. You can take a look at it right here. That's on the right side of your screen. Keep that in mind. As I read, there's going to be a whole lot, so keep this to pay, so pay attention to what, you're, to what you're about to read. To what you're ready to see today. Right? Here we go. On to the fat file. Snazzle Robinson is often compared to a midden clad cauliflower squished in a bizarre kind of jar, but you don't become chief cashier in the grocery store on looks alone. You see, Snazzle got the job because he could juggle soggy splat sumas while mopping up sludge fudge spills. Faster than you could say, I just put the item in, in the bagging area, plus he could fit down <laughs> he could fit down an aisle in seconds. Clock catastrophe. The poor Snozzle. He spends hours every day making sure his stock room is super neat and tidy. And the Kitty catastrophe, which is mission four, season one, it was completely messed up by the grocery by the gross glumps. Luckily, the super moshis were on hand to help tidy it up. <laughs> yes, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I already did Kitty catastrophe over on my second channel, which is because such an extra. So please go check it out. The link will be in the description below. Please go, to, no, please go check out my, my second channel, which is because such an extra. There you'll find the video, Candy Catastrophe, which I already did a couple of months ago. So please go check it out. Uh, ba uh, uh, yeah, back to the fat file. Goopendous! The main ingredient in most monster food is goo, and Stanzo likes to make his own. Why don't you have a go? Here's his secret recipe. We can tell you. His secret recipe, no good. Uh, what you need? Uh, one cup corn flour, green... Uh, the green food coloring and water. So, Vasha, uh, what to do? Put the corn flour and the food coloring into a bowl. Add a small amount of water and mix it all together with your hands. Uh, accompanying Elder Furry's speech. Snozzle's goo is very special. It will seem solid until you try to pick it up. Why don't you try hitting it like a drum or rolling it into a ball? Remember, only monsters can can eat goo. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Whoa, uh, Elder Furry. I I already talked about him here on Moshi Monsters Biography, and he was on episode one hundred and thirteen. So please check it out. Definitely give that a watch. Moving on, family ties. Snozzle comes from a long line of Wobblesons, but aside from his uh, auntie, who's a ducky homie, is next on. If that's all, the only relative Stanzel ever sees is his cousin Boggle, a culture pup attendant who lives near Whoopin Holler Valley. <laughs> I really love it. Uh, like stacking shelves and store just do this, just like self service till uh, the tills and store, uh, just like self service tills and fingerless gloves and other hands on head. Sure enough, because Stanzel's bits are placed just above his eyes, so reaching for Box, for boxes of shredded feet is easy. <sighs> yes, I know. And you and have, and, and I mentioned Whoopa Hunter Valley. Besides, that's uh, that's the setting for a sleep story that I reacted to. Bonnie's Wild West Quest. That's over on my episode twenty. And that I reacted to on episode twenty nine of my other show, Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. So please check it out. If you haven't seen it yet, this is totally worth the wait. Give that a watch. So check it out. Uh, moving on to the design. Stossel is a jellyfish squid like it's a jellyfish slash squid like creature with his body visible through his green translucent head, making him look like broccoli. He has four yellow and orange striped tentacles and two antlers. He has bright red eyes and a big smile with a light yellow blush. Huh? Yay, Snozzle! Uh, let's go to the timeline. Start with the date, then the event, and then the area, then the time, then the date. I'll start with the date, then the then the area, and then and then the event. So here we go. January 15th, 2008, you beta for the Daily Growl. First mention of the grocery store in the Daily Growl. Therein, Miss Pinky talks about how she'll buy anything cheap so she can save up her rocks for stock at Yukia and Bazaar Bazaar. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, yes. Uh, uh, Yukia is run by Mo, uh, Mo Yucky. That I already talked about on episode 262. And Bushy Fandango runs the Bazaar Bazaar. That I already talked about on episode... Uh, that I already talked about on episode 52, so please check out these two episodes if you haven't seen yet. Again, the 
Again, your Kia is run by Mo Yucky. I already talked about episode 263. And the Bizarre Bazaar is run by Bushi Fandango. That I already talked about on episode 52. So please check out these two episodes if you haven't seen yet. But we got April 16, 2008, Grocery Store. Bushi Monster starts with the grocery store starting shop for forthwith. April 24, 2008, The Daily Grout talks about a grocery store purchase strategy of sticking toward items that are, that are most efficient in terms of price and happiness and health. I love it. November 29th. I mean, November 19th, 2010, Series 1 matchup card. Series 1 matchup has a card. Uh, the 26th of May, which we're going to say, which we're going to say, May 26th, 2011, Season 1, Mission 4, Candy Contest Feet. I already did over on my second channel because it's actually will be checked out. Uh, plays a secondary role after the sweets, Hazel, Barfels, Scummy Bears, and Lollipops uh, made everyone sick and were associated with criminal activities. Supermoshi is uh, supposed to help him by cleaning out his shelves. He then guides them to the Candy King Caves and back to his store if needed. He readily offers advice on glumps and morph stones and encourages to ask again if help is needed. Love it. Uh, September 7, 2011, Series 2 matchup as a card. November 17, 2011, Mega Blocks. Mm -hmm. Mega Blocks Grocery Store has an exclusive figurine. All right, the next three events come from the Daily Growl. So, so get ready, guys. February 20th, 2012, the Daily Growl. In preparation for Growly Grub Day, Snozzle ordered uh, to the extent that he asked Rory if he could write on uh, his newspaper. He asked the citizens of Mosho City to send him a commercial with no longer than 30 seconds to long, uh, 30 seconds long to advertise his store, thereby reaccumulating re the money he overspent. Chapter 14, 2013, also the Daily Growl. Talks about Snozzle's new sold wear. Bongo Colada. Snozzle is mentioned burping upon Roy's interviewing. Oh my gosh, a brand new wear. Love it. A new sold wear. Uh, March 5th, 2013, also for the Daily Growl. Talks about, talks about the more crude looking items sold at Snozzle's store. Also tells us that slop is the most popular item. Love it. September, all right, September 26th, 2014, Five File. Has his own Five File. May 19th, 2014, Bochi Monsters Village. The Quest character and June 27, 2016. The Daily Growl Extreme Close Up Puzzle. So that's it. That's everything you need to know. That's the timeline of Snozzle Robinson. So let's find finish it up with the trivia. Upon the release of Series 5 figurines, Vivid missed out Snozzle Robinson's figure from Series Pack and had to add it in months later due to fan complaints. Mr. Moshi personalized or personally apologized for this and declared March 16th as Snozzle Robinson Day. Ooh. Uh, yeah, 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 that that was less than a month ago, but guys, yeah, uh, the March 16th was Snozzle Wobble said day. Ooh, I should have missed out on that. Oh, oh yeah, and about uh, Mr. Moshi, he uh, he was already discussed here on the show. Mr. Moshi, he was on episode 268, so please check out the video. So please get that video watch. Haven't seen yet. You definitely go to so. And uh, finally, in, in the same blog post, he claims that Snozzle is one of his favorite characters. So there you go, my friends. And that's the end of Snozzle Wobbison. Yay! Final answer for the character. Oh my gosh. If, uh, if there's one thing you gotta say about Snozzle Wobbison, he is definitely one of the best characters in the Motion Monsters franchise. He is number one. Always the best. Loves to sell groceries to everyone in need. And no doubt, Snozzle Wobbison did the job done. Whew, man, can't wait to see him again. But yes, on the scale, what's that? All right, Snozzle Wobbison with a score of, not so perfect score of, 9 out of 10. Yay! Now that's an awesome character. Totally awesome. I really love it. So just as I expected, it's not not that perfect, but yes, Snozzle Wobble said he is the best character I ever tried. And boy, it is definitely one of the best. So I love you, Snozzle. You are the best. But yeah, that's a little bit of a personal conservative opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with any thoughts of your opinions in the comment section down below. And with that, guys, it's all over. Yay! Thank you all for watching another episode of Boshi Monsters by Ike we, we already We are done with Snozzle Wobbleson. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave a like on the video, share with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe with, with notifications turn on to miss another new video from me because we've got new we got, we got new content coming away very, very soon. And don't forget about Local History 2, episode 23, coming out, coming to the channel very, very soon. It'll be about Del Sunoco. Oh my gosh. Hanna Barbera, Pluto TV, Mountain to Do. Yeah, Mountain to Do, that'll, that'll be there. Um, Acer. W-L-I-W. And I don't know, know what, the, what, what the last one is. But, and I don't know what the last one is, but you, 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 you'll soon find out. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. everybody. 
And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for... And we have Moshi Monster the movie, The Great Monster Egg, coming your way tomorrow. Chapter 20 is going to be about uh, Snow Choke, so don't miss out. But yes, everybody must come to an end. Thank you so much for watching today. I am Miguel Sanchez. Give me yourself, and I will see you tomorrow on Boshi Monsters Biography. I can't believe it, guys. The next episode is, is going to be a big one. Episode 3, another big one. Episode 382 is going to be a snuffy hookum, so don't miss out, my friends. You do not want to miss the next exciting episode of the series, as I am going to be taking you on a wild ride, my friends. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I love you. So be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. As you, as, as we, as, as the next episode will be, uh, will be about stuff. Will be about Buster Bob Chops' assistant Snuffy Hookums. So check out Buster Bob Chops' episode first. Here's our episode uh, fifty four. Give that a watch. Then come back as we take a look at Snuffy Hookums. And be on the lookout for the season four premiere of local history uh, of local history on May eleven, where it's gonna be about Columbia Pictures and Tristar Pictures. And also tomorrow we have a new episode of Rob Gio Four Seven House Local History Retold episode. Episode 5, excuse me, episode 4 will be Nirvana, so don't miss out. It's coming your way tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you there. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Miguel Please remember to uh, leave a like, share the video with your friends, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to never miss a new video. Please, please subscribe to my notification. Turn on to never miss a new video from me as we are on the road to 900 subscribers. I want to thank you all for watching. You are the best. We can't wait to see you again very, very soon, because I love you. No matter what. I want to think. Uh, anyway, th guys, thanks for watching. I'm you guys. I just sign off. Until next time, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe. We'll see you in another video. Laters!